Welcome everyone. This interesting question given to us are four squares. Also given is area of this purple square is four centimeter square. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find area of this blue square. Let's check this simple and elegant solution. We'll solve the question in two ways. Our first approach will be formal approach where we'll solve. by using concepts of similar triangles and second approach will be logical approach where we'll solve it without using any geometrical theorems now let's check the formal approach let's start by assuming the side length of this green square is a cm and thus the diagonal of this green square that will be a root 2 same way let's assume the side length of brown square that's b cm and thus the diagonal length of brown square that will be b root 2 cm now here let's assume this angle is alpha degrees and the angle between the side and the diagonal that is this pink angle is 45 degrees and thus this remaining angle that's this golden angle that will be 45 minus alpha same way if you look at the green square then this angle here is 45 degrees its angle between side and the diagonal and the golden angle is 45 minus alpha thus the remaining angle will again be same as alpha degrees now if we look at the green triangle and this pink triangle they both have got alpha degree angle and the ratio of sides containing this angle in green triangle it is a is to b and in pink triangle it's again same a is to b and thus by side angle side theorem both the triangles are similar to each other as the triangles are similar thus the ratio of third side will be same as the ratio of other two sides now here the ratio is a is to a root 2 that is the ratio is 1 is to root 2 so here ab length that is 2 cm and thus this de length that will be root 2 times of this ab length so de length will be 2 root 2 cm and the area of this blue square that will be square of 2 root 2 or 8 cm square and that's our answer now let's solve it by logical approach without using any geometrical theorems for our logical approach we'll exploit the fact that very limited data is provided to us only constraint to us is the area of purple square should be 4 cm square and this green square should share the vertex with the purple and blue square and the vertex of this green blue and purple square should share it with the brown square so keeping this constraint same if we will move this square slightly then our answer should not change otherwise the question itself will become invalid so let's rotate this purple square slightly uh, anti clockwise so that green and blue square will also get rotated now here we are still meeting all the original conditions of the question that's the area of purple square is 4 cm square and the vertex are shared as shown in the original figure thus the area of this blue square should not change otherwise the question itself will become invalid how about if we'll keep this original condition still same but reduce the size of this green square and the brown square again here all the original conditions are still met and thus the area of this blue square should remain same how about if we reduce this green square to a point size now believe it or not we are still meeting all the original conditions of the question and thus the area of blue square should remain same now here for the purple square the side length is 2 cm and thus the diagonal length of this brown square that should be 2 root 2 cm which is also side length of the blue square and thus the area of blue square will be square of 2 root 2 or 8 cm square and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video 
टिल देन टाटा बाय बाय